question of the day is, are unicorns in the Bible? Yes, they are. Wow. Unicorns are in the Bible. And let's look at that. You just made every thing. little girl's day. <laughs> I don't doubt that. And that's a wonderful thing. In the book of Numbers, we can find them mentioned. And unicorns are in the Bible. At least they're in the King James Bible. Now, in some of the modern versions, they may or may not be. But in the King James Bible, they are in there. So let's come to the book of Numbers. And let's look in chapter 23 and verse 22. And the thing with unicorns that's emphasized again and again in the Bible is that they are strong. They are really strong. That's the thing that's pointed out over and over again in the Bible is that the significant thing, which is to say attribute or characteristic of a unicorn, is that they're very strong. And the Bible says in Numbers 23, verse 22, God brought them out of Egypt. He hath, talking about Israel, as it were, the strength of an unicorn. Numbers chapter 24 and verse 8 God brought him forth out of Egypt. He hath, as it were, the strength of a unicorn. Let's turn to the book of Job and chapter 39. So unicorns are in the King James Bible, and that's a wonderful thing. Unicorns must have been really something to look at. Job chapter 39, verse 9. Job 39, verse 9 and 10, Will the unicorn be willing to serve thee or abide by thy crib? Canst thou bind the unicorn with his band in the furrow, or will he harrow the valley after thee? In other words, can you hook up a unicorn to do agricultural labor for you? And the obvious implied rhetorical answer is no, you're not that strong. <laughs> you cannot get the unicorn to serve you. Psalm 92 and verse 10. Psalm 92 verse 10. But my horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Of references. There are a lot of references. So unicorns very definitely are in the Bible. Now you may want to consider what we think of as a unicorn. Is that what the Bible thinks of as a unicorn too or not? Could it be thinking of something else? Now when I say unicorn and you say unicorn, you probably envision a beautiful horse probably of a white color, light gray with uh, maybe some colorful hair or a mane and then, you know, simply the, the horn up front. And yet, could it be a rhinoceros? Mm. It's definitely less exciting. It's definitely <laughs> less exciting. And yet some breeds of rhinos do have one horn. Mm. Some of the breeds of rhinos do have multiple horns, but some of them do have one horn. I remember, I remember looking at a, a shirt one time and it said, it had a picture of a rhino and it said, I'm a chubby unicorn, you know, and it had the picture of the rhino. So is, is that mm -hmm. what the Bible means when it says unicorn? I don't know, the, because one of the verses actually says, talks about a horse, then talks about a unicorn. And because they're similar, it makes sense that they would go together. And then also, there are depictions of horses with a horn in caves. It's just saying. <laughs> the hope is real. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a wonderful thing to consider. And uh, unicorn is, is a Bible term. So that's the answer to today's Bible question. If you have a, a, a question, please put it in the comments below. We'll take a run at it anyway. <laughs> and until then, the Lord, the Lord bless, bless you. you.